hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys in this video we are going to talk about the upcoming character or the new characters of fontaine newlet newlet gonna be a five shot catalyst user and a five shot character with the hydro vision holder so i'm gonna talk about his team his three most companion teams that you can use in changing impact fontaine 4.1 patch and you will New Bullet gonna be very very good on the field so I'm gonna talk about everything related to New Bullet teams so stay tuned till the end guys okay. for this video we are considering Barbara as New Bullet because I don't have New Bullet yet and for this video I'm considering we are considering Barbara as a New Bullet so I just give you guys a brief about the New Bullet's gameplay New Bullet is a charge based character and his ultimate also gives the damage so it's uh, is kind of similar to what Rio Cesley is coming Rio Cesley is also a normal attack and a ultimate based character same is gonna happen with new bullet but new bullet is gonna be a reaction based character so you you have to deal a reaction in order to give high amount of damage so he performs a little charge attack a laser beam types of charge attack which gonna deals 70 60 to 70 percent damage then he deals massive damage in his elemental burst next thing is uh, new bullet is purely hp build so you, um, the higher the new bullet gonna have a hp higher is gonna deal the damage so keep that in mind when building a proper new bullet team especially vaporize is one of the highest damage dealing reaction in the game then bloom is also very high damage dealing reaction in the game so we are considering barbara as a new bullet for this video and barbara is also a catalyst and barbara is also built on uh, max hp but he's a he she's a healer or a support character not a dps and new bullet's gonna be a pure dps so first first most uh first team we are gonna talk about as the vaporized team so we're gonna remove bezo we're gonna remove this okay so first first character that i should i'll consider and you can use this character in all the teams it's gonna be a this mona is mona is be. also a hydro character uh, mona is also a hydro character oh uh, now you're th all thinking why you're adding one more hydro character when there is a, already a new ability the hydro character why why mona first of all mona is a great buffer mona just multiplies your elemental burst damage and charge attack damage uh, to a very good amount so that's uh, well that the uh, mona gonna be a very helpful in new ability team second thing is she helps in triggering the hydro resonance what hydro resonance do it increases your max hp by 25 percent and i already told you the more your new ability is gonna have a hp more he's gonna deal the damage on the field so that's why one high, adding a one more hydro character in your new bullet team is gonna help in all uh, uh, all three teams freeze vaporize and bloom now we're gonna replace uh, this character here so what we're gonna add we gonna add a bandit here we can add a bandit here you, then we can add a shangling here so this is gonna be a one of the team that you can use with new bullet barbara is our new bullet in this video and bandit is here for the more attack percentage shang is here for triggering the vaporize reaction also they both together will trigger one more uh, resonance that's a pyro resonance which gives more attack percentage is 25 percent yes i know uh new bullet is built on max hp but having a more uh, per attack percentage is always good so this is going to be another team for new bullet one team for new bullet there's going to be a there's gonna have be a many many vaporized team not this only team you can replace shangling here with thoma a y toma. if you have c6 toma c6 toma will increase your charge attack damage so when you perform uh, charge attack with new bullet you're gonna deal more damage another thing new, uh, toma is also very good in triggering the vaporized damage vaporized reaction third thing toma provides you a average and above average shield which will protect you so it's gonna be a very very good 
if you want you can place your bandit here if you don't want that uh, attack percentage buff that bandit is giving you can replace your bandit with another another pyro character that's gonna be a shangling again where's my shangling i am blind oh there we go so you can add one more character that's gonna be a shangling but if you don't want to use your uh two pyro character you can add a one Animal character Thank here, guys. That's uh, example is Kazua. We all know about Kazua. Kazua helps in crowd control. And second thing, Kazua just buff your elemental damage. If you don't have Kazua, sure you can use Venti. If you don't have Kazua and Venti both, you can use Sucrose uh, with the VV's 4B set with my Sucrose. My experiment. You can use Sucrose. We'll so this is gonna be another team. Either way, you can also replace Mona here. Don't think like ki Mona uh, is is important to use Mona here. If you if you do not have Mona here, you can replace Mona with Yelen, with Shinkyu, of course. Yelen or uh, is gonna be a very good because Yelen also buffs your overall damage. Uh, one of the Yelen passive buffs your overall damage. You can go with the Ayato. Ayato is also a very good hydro support character. But the best option is gonna be a Mona or Yelen maybe. So this is gonna be a vaporized team that you can use these character with Nivulet. Now we talk about the Bloom team guys. Bloom team. So first of first of all, if you have Bezu, I'll add Bezu here. We need one uh, simple Bloom team is gonna be very simple. Two Hydro character and two Dendro characters. That's it. And your Bloom team is ready. So pick your two best Dendro character and when one more Hydro character, then your Bloom team is super super ready. So I am adding Bezu here. This is gonna be a very very good team, uh, which I am going to show you right now. Uh, this is gonna be a Bezu here. This is gonna be a Nahida here. There's still so many places for us to explore. And guys, and you can you can use Mona. Mona is gonna do his job, do her job, and is she's gonna be very very good. Take But you can replace uh Yelen here. It's time to pull the trigger. If I'm gonna use New Bullets Bloom team, this is gonna be my New Bullets Bloom team. I'll tell you why. Bezu and Nahida is here to provide a Dendro element. Nahida especially here is to provide a Dendro application. Nahida is best in that case. Second thing, Nahida is here for providing 200 elemental mastery with her elemental burst. Bezu is here to provide you a buff to your bloom reaction and he is very good in that also he is gonna provide you healing and the shield they both together will trigger the dendro resonance which gives you extra elemental mastery 100 extra elemental mastery mona and nubulet combines together or yelen and nubulet combines together will trigger hydro resonance, hydro resonance which increases your max hp by 25% this is gonna be a very amazing team. You can use Mona here, or you can use Kalen here, or you can use any other Hydro character which you think that helps you in any better way. Why I'm recommending Kalen here? This is gonna be a very pricey and a tricky. Good role. Just take your Kalen, go to the talents, and read out the talents. See like, you know, what she does. She has a little uh, passive talent that have, you know just buffs the element uh, overall damage to the equipped character okay the second thing is if you give your yell an leg leg will gives you extra elemental mastery like 150 elemental mastery to your whole team so it gives you uh, it's uh, this weapon gives you extra elemental mastery around around 150 elemental mastery to your whole team so if you use Yelen, Yelen is a bow, a bow user and you can give uh, LG for the end and you'll get extra right. elemental mastery. I already said that this is going to be a very tricky and a pricey combination. The rest of the okay, so now we're going to talk about the alternate alternative characters. If you want to remove, uh, uh, if you don't have Bezu and if you want to replace your Bezu, yes, you can replace it with this <laughs> little character. Yo, yo. 
if you uh, if you are not if you don't have Bezu and Nahida both that's gonna be a very big problem so just try to pull for at least one character I, I'll say just pull for Nahida because Nahida is the best dendro character which provides you 200 over 200 elemental mastery and best dendro application either way if you don't have any of these characters just use Yayo in the place of Bezo and use Traveler in the place this of Nahida of Traveler will also mysteries. provide a good elemental uh, good uh, dendro application and around 100 under elemental mastery to your equipped on field character these two are gonna be a very good alternative for the hydro i already already told you you can use uh, mona you can use ayato you can use shinkyu literally any other hydro character that suits you and you think this that he or she is gonna be very good please use two at least two dendro characters in bloom team you can avoid using one more hydro character if you don't want to use your if you don't want to use two hydro character in your bloom team you can go with the animo characters but don't go for the pyro characters here because pyro character then gonna trigger another reaction uh, and your team is gonna be very bad uh, you can go with uh, if you want to use you can go with you know this character and another animo character venti uh, kazua or supros Okay, now the last team is gonna be a freeze team, which is I think gonna be a uh, gonna be a least used team, but still, uh, I wanna talk about it. So we are gonna replace our dendro characters with the cryo characters, of course. So first of all, we replace here. We add Ganyu. We replace here. We can add uh, Rosaria. Where's the Rosaria? Hmm. I hear so this is gonna be one of the me. team. You can uh, go with this team. Where is Mona? So this Great is gonna be one of the destiny. team. High news here for using only only the alt. The alt is <laughs> the only purpose of the Ganyu in this team. And Rosaria is also for the alt. Rosaria and Ganyu's alt pro combined will give you a very good amount of cryo. And they both trigger, together will trigger another uh, cryo resonance. That's the cryo resonance which gives you extra crit rate. And if you don't want to use your Ganyu and if you don't have Ganyu, you can replace Ganyu with Rosaria and then you can use uh, Tiona here. <laughs> Need my help Tiona will provide you a good shield, healing and he's gonna act as a battery for you, another uh, cryo character. Freeze team is... I'm mentioning the freeze team but I suggest you not to use a freeze team with Nivellet. Go for the Bloom team and the Vaporize team. There's gonna be that. Those teams gonna be a very very good. Guys these are the teams that you can use with uh, Nivellet. He's gonna be a very good DPS character guys. Uh, these are the teams. The Vaporize team, Bloom team and freeze team that you can use with your Nivellet. And he's gonna be very very good on the I forgot to mention one more character that's gonna be a Candace. I promise you can use Candace. Candace is also a very good hydro buffer. Uh, not better than Mona, but she can work as a very good hydro buffer. And if you have the constellation of Candace, you can use your Candace and Nuvolet team. Candace will provide a good support to your Nuvolet. You can use. Uh, you can use her in all the teams, Bloom, Vaporize and the Freeze team. She's gonna be very good. But I think using Mona will, will be better because Mona will provide better support to your Nebulet. Okay guys, so thank you for watching the video. If you have still any have still have any question related to Nebulet or any other Genshin character, you can comment below. And if you like the video, you can hit the like button. Share this video with your friends who are going to wish on Nebulet. You can start grinding right now with the characters that if your uh, I mentioned character is not in your team, you can try to pull for them. Or if those characters are not leveled up, start leveling up those characters. So guys, share this video with your friend. And subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more Genshin related videos. We'll meet in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.